Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Richie's Gaming Gadgets and Gizmos. So today I got a lovely little package in the mail here from the US Postal Service. So I guess you guys are wondering well, what's in here. Um, I'm sure it's no surprise if you just look at the title of the video, <laughs> you will have an idea. And yes, that's exactly what the title says. And that's what's in this box. And that's what we're going to see in a second. And something that every gamer, especially if you were a gamer from back in the late 80s, like 1989 onwards, you will know exactly what I mean when I take this out of the box. Now the thing is, when you see it, it's going to look like something that you're very familiar with seeing, but it's going to be modded. It's going to have some additional features. So to take off the wrapping here. It feels like Christmas in November. And voila. Look what we have here. Hmm. It looks like a Game Boy. But not just, not just any Game Boy. It looks like a Game Boy on steroids. So this was custom built for me. And um, if you're interested in more about custom built Game Boys, uh, check out the link below this video. And check out my blog. So this is nicely wrapped in Ziploc to protect the um, the actual case and the gentleman was very nice to actually cover and protect the screen as well during shipping All right what I like about this tape it keeps the screen protected and what I'm going to do is actually uh, get some vinegar to clean the screen but this is what it looks like it's a modded Game Boy Now, those of you who are asking, well, what really is this thing? You know, is it a Game Boy? Where did it come from? So, actually, thanks to technology um, called Raspberry Pi, or so Raspberry Pi, um, it's a miniature uh, PC. Uh, it all fits on one printed circuit board, roughly the size of a mini, just smaller than a credit card. Um, and because of this uh, mini Raspberry uh, Pi um, integrated circuit or mini computer, um, there are many, many kits that you can um, build with this thing um, because with that um, mini computer uh, you have like input output devices you can you know attach a keyboard mini screen um, and then you can program it and do coding as well um, so this technology was of course um, invented and developed in the UK um, and you know it's great for kids who want to learn coding and computers and whatnot but what's happened because of this miniature technology which is so powerful and the fact that we have you know flash memory now and lithium ion batteries you know that you can charge and you know power smartphones and all this technology that we have people are now modding and creating modded gaming kits and um, even modded um, game consoles um, um, because there are also of course you have the hardware platform um, and then of course you have your you know, emulators and your programs that you can run so because of that um, there's this uh, uh, trend right now where our guys who do have the time are actually modding Game Boys and actually building um, uh, kits using this Raspberry Pi technology um, and use it, creating something called the Game Boy Zero so here's an example of the Game Boy Zero um, now this one of course has four buttons and um, it has your customary you know, D-pad and your selects and start, just like on the original Game Boy from back in 1989. Um, so, apart from the additional two buttons, um, of course, you know the reason we do have an additional two buttons is because um, this is designed to play a ton of emulated games. So, you know, if you have your original games carts collection from back in the day, you can convert them all to ROMs and you can load them onto something like this, and you can play all of your favorite, you know, Game Boy games, Game Boy Color. Uh, um, Super Nintendo, uh, Nintendo, even PlayStation 1 games 
and there's a whole set of others so in my blog just click the link below this video um, when I do have uh, a blog up and running uh, on this and I'm actually gonna write it maybe this week um, and really uh, go into detail but you can check the link below this video if the link is there go check it out um, and you can get more information on this project uh, so of course now say, that being said I have four buttons because most of the modern games like all the emulated games and stuff especially with the, Ninten the Super Nintendo there was a four button controller um, and uh, and even some of the more modern games, um, they require shoulder buttons now. Those of you who remember the Game Boy, didn't, it didn't have shoulder buttons on the Game Boy. But on this modded version, the Game Boy Zero, I'm going to turn it around the back here. We have two shoulder buttons right here, if you look closely. Um, right here. See, one there and one over here. Right. So those are your shoulder buttons. And if I open this here, you can see the actual. This is a, a two, 2500 milliamp per hour battery. Um, you can get this from any electronic store. Um, so, this is what, what was used for this particular kit. Right? So, when I test it out, put my games on it, I will let you know how well, how long the battery lasts on this thing. But it's pretty cool. So, you have four buttons D pad, select and start, and. Um, here is the uh, USB port volume, and uh, here, just in case you're asking, here is another USB. Uh, this is um, actually, I believe this is um, no, not USB. This is HDMI out. Oh, this is a an HDMI port, so you can hook this up to a TV and play your games. And here's your mini USB port, and this is where you would load all of your games, right? And this is where you interface with the onboard memory. So this version that I got has um, a 64 gigabyte memory card built in but me being a, an electronic hobbyist myself I'm actually gonna mod this a bit later and actually um, I'm actually gonna mod a cart one of the carts that fit in here and actually put um, a port for me to insert an, an, uh, a micro SD card in, in an external um, in the external uh, uh, cart and they can push it in here if I wanted to but right now I don't need to I mean this already has built in 64 gigabytes and if you do know the size of emulator games 64 gigabytes is more than enough storage for all of your games uh, all of my games anyway so now of course the screen when I do in part 2 I'll actually set this up turn it on and you're gonna see this brilliant color screen so this is a nice color LCD screen um, so the games on here are gonna look pretty cool so on my left we have the Game Boy Zero which I just did a quick review of and here is the original 1989 Game Boy with that pale pea soup colored screen and you have your two buttons, two action buttons A and B, you have your D-pad and select and start and as you can see the case, the buttons are pretty much identical on the Game Boy Zero um, with the exception that this one is, this case is a little bit darker and I have of course the additional buttons right but Anybody who has the nostalgia like I do, I love this thing. I used to take it around and, oh my goodness, I've lost count of how many AA batteries I use in this thing. Anyway, but now to think that I can carry around something like this and have all of my games collection, because I did, you know, collect. I do have a good collection of my, you know, my NES cartridges and my Super Nintendo and, uh, and uh, PlayStation 1 games. So I'm going to put them all on this and play my favorite games with this in the you know on this cool little uh, uh, Game Boy Zero, so so thanks to Raspberry Pi technology and the good folks out in the UK that invented this, um, we can create these things. So there are other projects out there where people are doing modded um, NES um, consoles and Super Nintendo consoles, and actually, and some people are just creating their own versions of portable gaming systems. So um, if you're interested, just you know Google Raspberry Pi or Google Game Boy Zero and you can find a ton of people who are doing lots of really cool things uh, with this technology. So if you like this video please make sure you like it and if you have not done so already please subscribe because uh, there will be lots more videos just like this and um, feel free to leave your comments below and also check out uh, my blog page below at www.redtechbot.com to find out more about this project and more about this cool little device called the Game Boy Zero.
so I just put it up so I just wanted to give you a quick uh, overview of the um, menu items that you see here so this is retro pie um, which is a pretty good uh, decent um, application here that runs on the Raspberry Pi um, hardware now there's a couple of um, things I can configure I can configure the audio here uh, my Bluetooth as well so it does have built-in Bluetooth so if I wanted to uh, connect another controller to this or Bluetooth keyboard I can do that or even a mouse I can do that here's my configuration editor here's the ES themes here is where I can actually set different themes for this system here's my file manager so it actually has a built-in file manager which is pretty good uh, comes in handy of course when you're loading on your your ROMs and, and other files as well through the mini USB port you do need that file manager to navigate your way around all your files here's the rasp uh, raspy config um, directory here uh, here's the retro arch, retro arch netplay, uh, retro pi setup, run command configuration show IP, splash screens and I also have this version actually does support Wi-Fi as well comes in very handy if you want to surf the web or get applications directly from the internet so this is a quick uh, overview of the initial menu so just showing you what this little gadget is capable of um, again this is definitely you know this is designed for those hardcore nostalgic gamers like myself who love the Game Boy have a soft spot for the Game Boy and you know while I'm on the go I want to be able to play all of my favorite um, retro games not just on any regular modern day gaming system but on something that looks like a Game Boy that will turn heads and get people asking me where did you get that from <laughs> anyway so that's uh, this is really cool so again I'm gonna be you know doing some more videos on this I just got this so uh, over time just stay tuned uh, you know best way to keep in touch with what I'm doing is you know just subscribe and you know when I do post new stuff you will know including more reviews on more videos on this cool little uh, Game Boy Zero system. Stay tuned to part two, um, and then I just give you a quick demo of the gameplay on this thing and the sound and all that. So, for any of you Game Boy lovers out there and lovers of Nintendo gaming and good old-fashioned 8-bit gaming of the 90s, yeah, this is a this is a, a good time to be alive. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go and play with this some more. And until next time, guys, you stay tuned and happy gaming. Bye bye. Hey everybody! So I hope you enjoyed that video. Now I'm going to ask you to do two things before you leave. One, there's a button right up here on the screen to my right here. Click on that and that will take you to our website www.redtechbot.com When you get on that site there will be a button there where you can actually sign up for our newsletter and when you do sign up for our newsletter by entering in your email address you will automatically be entered into all of our tech giveaways and by tech giveaways these are some typical examples of what we will be giving away uh, and these are some examples, there's other stuff as well. Um, and the good news is you're, you, know, you just have to enter your email address once and you know, it will automatically be entered into the pool every time we do a draw. Um, and we will use that email address of course to, to contact the winner to tell them hey you've won something um, and you know, it's, it's, uh, it's really cool. And of course the newsletter will have you know, you know, updates on tech reviews, what's coming up, new, uh, you know, what's coming up next. Um, you know, new stuff uh, in the industry and even information on, on future giveaways, right? So it's really, 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 really nice newsletter that we're going to be uh, uh, sending out. And one other thing is on this side on the screen here up here, on my left, uh, you click on that and you will subscribe to the channel. Now by subscribing, of course, you will be, you know, at the forefront of any new things that are happening, any new videos that are coming out. Um, and what I will also be doing is I'll be doing videos where I'll be talking about what we're going to be doing as a next giveaway, right? So you want to be, you know, subscribed, tuned in to that as well. So it's going to be a fun year and fun years to come as well. So, yeah, that being said, you guys have a great day.